the magnetic force on a moving charge with cross product. Suppose we have a one coulomb charge with a velocity given by this expression, traveling through a magnetic field given by that expression. In unit vector notation, determine the force vector that acts on the charge. The equation that is relevant is the magnetic force is equal to Q V cross B. Now nicely here, Q is one. So in essence, we need to do the cross product between V and B. Now there are any number of methods that can be used to do a cross product. In fact, you can find cross product calculators online and it will do it for you. You simply put in the vectors. There's a determinant method that can be used. You can write a program for your graphing calculator any number of ways. I'm going to show you a way that I learned that way back in the early universe when I was doing my engineering studies and it works for me and maybe it'll help you as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write out these vectors. 3i hat plus 2j hat plus 4k hat. I'm going to leave the unit off for a minute. And then we've got the magnetic field vector. And that's going to be negative 5i hat plus 4j hat minus k hat. First of all, as we know, whenever you take a cross product, you end up with a vector that is perpendicular to both of the vectors that you are crossing. It goes without saying that if you cross an i hat vector with a j hat vector, you will get a k hat vector. If you cross an i hat vector with a k hat vector, you will get some kind of j hat vector. And finally, if you cross some kind of j hat vector with some kind of k hat vector, you will get an i hat vector. Also, Whenever you cross an i hat with an i hat, you get nothing, etc. So this i hat vector needs to be crossed with that j hat. This i hat needs to be crossed with that k hat. Then this j hat needs to be crossed with that i hat. And it also needs to be crossed with that k hat. And finally, this k hat needs to be crossed with that i hat and then with that j hat. There are six results that we are going to get here and let's write out these one at a time just so we can see what they look like scoot that up just a bit so here we go three i hat times four j hat that's going to be some kind of 12 it's going to be a k hat let's do this one three i hat times minus one k hat we're going to have minus three j hat now there is one extra little step that we need to take at the end so this is not necessarily going to be what our final answer is going to look like basically we're going to go through this process that i've shown you and then we need to decide if it is in fact 12 k hat or if it's negative or if it's in fact negative three j hat or if it's positive so we need to make a decision at the end whether these signs stay the same or whether they change and i'll show you how to do that let's do the next one here we have two j hat and negative five i hat so i'm going to leave the negative sign in for the moment and it's going to be 10 and the unit vector will be k hat two j hat and minus k hat i'm going to write the, the number comes out to be negative two so we're going to leave that in for the moment and the vector will be i hat Again, we have to decide at the end whether these signs stay the same or whether they change, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's do these pink ones. 4 times negative 5, that's negative 20. And that's a K hat and an I hat, so the answer would be some kind of J hat. And this last pink one would be 4 times 4 is 16. And a K hat and a J hat will give us an I hat. All right, so those are the six vectors now. We're going to compile those. We're going to take the K hats. We're going to put them together eventually. We're going to take the J hats and put them together. But before we do that, we need to decide if these signs stay the same or if they flip. How do you do that? Here's one way. You imagine a circle like this. 
and we're going to put i hat right there we're going to put j hat right there we're going to put k hat right there and the way we know that it goes like this is if your right thumb points out of the page that's positive if your right thumb points into the page that's negative and in this way by using our right hand our right hand rule we're going to be able to decide if over here on the left side of the screen if these numbers keep the sign that they already have or if they get flipped so here we go this 12k hat where did that come from it came from right here look at this i hat cross j hat there's an i hat there's a j hat use your right hand and go with your fingers i hat cross j hat which way is your thumb pointing he's pointing up and up means keep the sign the way it is so that guy is money right there what about this negative three where did that come from that came from right here an i hat crossed with a k hat use your right hand take your fingers and point at i hat and turn into k hat which way is your thumbkin pointing he's pointing into the page which means we have to flip this sign it's not going to be negative three it's going to be positive i'll put an oval around that because that's a j hat let's do the same thing with these green numbers we crossed a j hat with an i hat now the order makes a difference so don't just say oh it's an i hat and a j hat it's got to be j hat first and then it's got to be i hat use your right hand take your fingers point them at j hat curl your fingers into i hat which way is your thumb pointing it's pointing into the page into the page is negative so this sign needs to be changed it was negative and now we changed it positive and that's a k hat which is going to get added to that k hat so i'm going to put boxes around both of them how about this i hat vector right here where did that come from right here it came from j hat cross k hat j hat cross k hat use your fingers of your right hand point at j hat curl your fingers into k hat your thumb points out of the page that's positive which means the sign isn't changing i'll put a little how about a diamond around that i'll put the diamond around the i hat nearly done where did this 20 come from the 20 came from crossing a k hat with an i hat go to your little helper here and point your fingers at k hat curl them into i hat which way is your thumbkin pointing out of the page positive which means basically we're multiplying by positive one which means this j hat sign does not change when you go around the circle here if your thumb points out you keep the sign the way it is if the thumb points in you change the sign last one where did this four come from it came from right here where i'm pointing crossing a k hat with a j hat look at your diagram point your right fingers in the direction of k hat curl your hand into j hat and you can see that your thumb is pointing into the page into the page means we got to flip the sign negative the i hats i've decided are there we go and now we just add these up let's do the i hats first i'm seeing negative 2 i hat and negative 16 i hat so that is negative 18 i hat what about the j hat i'm seeing negative 20 and positive 3 so that's negative 17 j hat and what about the k hat positive 12 and positive 10 so that's positive 22 k hat and all along what have we been after we've been after the force vector so i think we should put newtons there that is the magnetic force in unit vector form if we wanted the magnitude we would pythagorize all of this 18 squared plus 17 squared plus 22 squared add all that up take the square root and that would give you the magnitude of that vector 